Hey guys, so I'm doing this video now on Friday night because I gotta be honest with you, I don't think tomorrow I'm gonna feel like doing my usual Saturday chat. Hopefully y'all can't see up my nose. <laughs> um, I have a, uh, and I'm sorry that uh, week 12 of the 40 weeks to freedom from the narcissist is probably won't be posted until um, Tuesday-ish, um, possibly Monday, but I don't want to stick myself to that um, because I'm just, I haven't been feeling well. I felt it coming on slightly last week and just, yeah, but I was in denial about it. Um, all the kids have had this chest thing. They're getting over it. And um, I woke up this morning, my chest feeling really tight. And I've been, I coughed up a bunch of junk this morning. Like I literally spent my whole morning before the daycare kids got here trying to cough up as much as I could, taking some ibuprofen to relieve inflammation in my lungs. Um, and. I just had a really bad day, you know, and you can't let that be seen, you know. Um, but I do think the kids picked up on the fact that I wasn't feeling well and took advantage of it. So today was really um, rough. <laughs> and, uh, it was just something in the air today, you know, I think um, all the kids seem to be in a uh, kind of a, a mood, like they just didn't, they were picking on each other, And but normally if I was feeling my best, I could have put a stop to that early in the day, um, or I would have had activities going, you know to distract them from behaving like that, but today I just didn't feel like it, you know, I just was like, okay, just gonna, whatever, y'all just run wild today, I don't even care, <laughs> you know, um, my main focus today was on the two babies that I have, because, you know, they need to be fed and, and whatnot, um, making sure everybody ate, making sure everybody had clean diapers and got home alive, <laughs> and that was my focus today, make sure everybody stayed safe and got home safe, or got back to their parents safely. Yep, and so I accomplished that, and the last one left about 20 minutes to 6, so I thought, you know, rather than wait and do the, try to do this tomorrow, which I probably won't, wouldn't want to, because I feel like I'm going to be sleeping very late, I feel like tomorrow's going to be um, such a waste for me, and, um, but it's not a waste if I'm taking care of myself, and normally it would be a three-day weekend, but, um, I'm actually working Monday, because some of my daycare parents actually have to still go to work, and I have some that work in the health profession, and, and I'm trying to do better, you know, I'm trying to raise the standard of child care providers. You know what I mean? Like I used to pray for snow. <laughs> I wanted to close at the first snowflake um, back when I first started doing this. Um, but then I was doing it 24-7, literally, you know, and um, any reason to close and give myself a break. Um, but I don't do that anymore. I don't clothes for snow or bad weather I'm at home you know and um, parents need reliable child care you know if they have to get to work they need to know that their daycare is open for business you know cause they still need child care so if they can get here in a blizzard more power to them the only times I would have to close and they would have to pick up is if in there was no electricity, no water. Um, for some reason, it wasn't safe for them to be here. 
Um, or if, obviously, if I'm too ill to work. Uh, you know, and in days past, having this cough, uh, I would have messaged them all this morning and said, Hey, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well. I'm going to close today. But... I didn't do that. That was my vacuum cleaner. You heard and just it just shut off. It's going. It's going to spend the next hour trying to find its way back to <laughs> the charging port. They need to be better about that. Some something in that needs to be tweaked to help it find its way back there quicker. Or I need to move the charging port maybe. I don't know. Um but um so yeah, I normally would have called out, called sick today and took a sick day, but there's, I was functional. As long as I'm functional, um, then I'll be open. But if I'm like, if it's unsafe, if I'm so sick that I feel like it's unsafe, like if I'm so sick I can't stay awake, or my reaction time isn't as fast, um, then I would have to close because then it's not safe for them to be here. And I'm praying that whatever this is in my chest is gone by Monday. Um, and, I mean, they've all had it, except for the baby. There's I have a, a five-month-old, and she's the only one that hasn't caught this. And I'm praying she didn't catch it from me today. Um, so, let's see. That's what's going on with me. Um, what else is going on in my life? So, my mom is has, we finally gotten her to accept the fact that she's got to go to rehab and I think she went there today for her knee she had knee surgery and uh, she kept saying no I'm going home I'm going home but she got into a really nice rehab and uh, rehabilitation center and she'll be there for a week maybe two um, if that and she uh, I don't know if she can see her dogs there or not. Sometimes, some of them, you can take the pets to, to visit. Um, I don't know if that's one of them. But, so, she's just been real difficult through this whole thing. And I don't really want to get started on it, you know, because, you know, I've, I've talked about her before. and She's just not, my sister is the one that's been taking care of her. And she just seems so ungrateful and just... She's just a very demeaning person, and instead of, you know, being grateful that my sister's taking time out of her life to look after her while she has this done, she's just bossy and ungrateful about it all. Um, anyway, let's see. Um, so Johnny Depp, what can we talk about with Johnny Depp? He, so he is in the States now doing his state, uh, America tour with Jeff Beck. Um, I did not get to go see him in D.C. on the 4th because work. Now, now the money's flowing better, but I still couldn't go see him because I, I wasn't going to close down for a concert. Um, um, and I just saw a lot of pictures from his, him being in Boston. And I saw a comment on Twitter Somebody's, I've actually seen a lot of these comments lately saying that his smile isn't as genuine or as bright as it was when he was doing the European tour. And of course, there's a lot of speculation about why that might be. Some people think he's just tired. I mean, he's been going since the trial. I don't know how in God's name. I've said that before. I don't know how he does it, but... Um, he, I know he's got his Discord group, too, his NFTs. He's, you know, um, keeping up with that stuff and the touring. And he just, I think he just finished uh, with the filming, the French film about Louis, King Louis the 15th, right? I thought I read somewhere where they just did a rap on that. Um... But there's people concerned with how he's looking lately. Um, and 
whenever I read stuff like that, it makes me concerned. Um, because of, like I said, the vision that I had like months ago. And I don't think about celebrities. And I don't dream about them. And I don't have visions about them. But I sure enough had a couple about him. His health. And so... Every time I see somebody talking about how he's looking, it bothers me. Um, but, uh, so we want to speak health and pray health to him. And, uh, but I mean, one other thing that, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I should edit that out, but I ain't gonna... <laughs> I just want to tape this and get it uploaded for you. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, Crapola. What was I saying? I know I was talking about Johnny Depp. His health, what people are saying. Oh, uh, some people think that he is feeling uncomfortable being in the States because of uh, a age. Um, I I've read that the crowds waiting for him aren't as big as they were in Europe. There's actually a good reason for that. Um, I think like it was you know during the during court we're funny over here like about stuff like that like they're gonna barricade things off or make it difficult for you to get close to someone like that now I don't know if that's what's happening and so people just aren't bothering <coughs> or if people just gotta work you know it's not because there's any love lost that's for sure um, yeah, mm, got that going on. <coughs> oh my god. I can deal with a lot of stuff. I can deal with a head cold. I don't like it when it's in my chest. <coughs> Heaven's sakes. Anyway, um,. My vacuum still hasn't found its way back to the charging port. Um, I hear a car alarm. I'm going to have to pause this to make sure it's not mine. Okay, no, it's not my alarm. Uh, anyhow, um... I think possibly the reason for him, if you know, if his smile isn't as bright or seem as genuine, or if he seems tired or whatever, um, I think it could be that he's just overdoing things. You know, he's he's 59. He, he needs to slow down. I'm 53, and I feel like I need to slow down, you know. I could never do the schedule. I could never keep up with the schedule that he's got. Um, maybe he's maybe he's a little frustrated with his personal life constantly being the talk of the world. No privacy. None. Um... Um, maybe, you know, maybe he is a little uneasy, um, being where A.H. maybe could possibly have easier access to him or show up somewhere that, you know, that would make me uncomfortable if, if I thought my abuser could just pop up anywhere. I ran into mine twice by accident a few years after the fact. Oh, we saw each other 
we didn't speak, obviously. Um, I was dating someone. One of the times I ran into him, and uh, oh, my then boyfriend was ready to, and my then boyfriend was tall and big. He was a, and he, I mean, he was ready to squash him. Then I physically had to hold him back, which I couldn't do, which would have done no good at all. But I was like trying to hold him back. He was ready to just mm, kill him right there. I'm telling you, damage would have been done. I was like, no, 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 no. Just leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Um, and then another time, he was coming out of a grocery store that I was going in. And, you know, we both got that kind of deer in the headlights look and um, and, and kind of just kept going. Uh it's going to happen because we live in the same vicinity, you know, the same Tri-Cities area, so. Um, funny enough, I have not run into my ex-husband once. Um, if I did, if I, I don't know that I'd know him if I saw him now, to be very honest with you. I don't think he'd know me, to be very honest with you. Um, but... So, yeah, so he's touring... Um, I don't know what he's got up next after that. I think he's torn through like the middle of November. Um, hopefully he's going to take some time off for the holidays, go see his kids and whatnot and just chill out and relax. You need, you need to, Donnie, you need to chill. Um, our bodies aren't, we aren't made of batteries. Uh, I'm considering trying to decide whether or not I want to get some part-time help just part-time you know still trying to figure out what the busiest the worst time of the day for me is and get part-time help during those hours but I'm kind of also enjoying the financial flow again you know what I mean maybe once I get some stuff caught up um, I don't, I, I, I keep thinking if I, if I can enroll one more, then I would definitely hire some help. But if I enroll another one, it really needs to be an older one because the babies take up a lot of your time. Um, because they, you, they need to be, um, it's a very important time for them. They need to be nurtured. Um, they need to be fed, you know, at certain time intervals. And um, from the, you know, from at least up to the point where they are crawling and moving around better and have, you know, more mobility, then their world gets bigger and they have more to explore. It's Sandy's barking at whatever's going on in the garage. <coughs> it's uh, my landlord in there doing something. It's probably somebody or something going on that she doesn't, maybe somebody she doesn't recognize the store. Um, I don't know. He may have hit something up against the wall and it startled her. I don't know. He's still here. He's still not gone. Um, hopefully, hopefully he's taking steps to get gone. Um, because I don't want to take him to court, but I will. If nothing else, just to prove a point. Um, it's been a huge inconvenience, and I'm ready for it to be over. Um, right now, he doesn't contribute to anything. So, it is just, uh, you know, he's using my electricity and he doesn't, you know, so I'm ready for him to be gone. I've been ready. Uh, but that being said, um, I don't, I don't get into the Angelina Jolie, I mean the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt thing because it's. 
I don't know if I got burnt out with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, but I don't I don't follow the Angelina and Brad Pitt. Um, I, I, I don't I need to so that I know you know the full story there. Um, it's not it's you have to remember something it is not always um, the man who's the abuser and it's not always the woman who's the abuser regardless of our genders um, it's the individual who abuses and they do so because they are themselves insecure, very insecure, afraid of abandonment, and uh, very weak individuals. Um, and that's something for another video. <laughs> um, I'm going to end this now. I think I feel it may be trying to move up, up, because I hear the way I'm talking. I feel, I think I sound a little stuffy-ish. I just, I dread, I look forward to resting tonight and going to sleep, but I dread waking up with that uh, tightness again. I'm going to take Mucinex tonight, and I know it's going to knock me out. And I see how I feel Sunday. Unfortunately, if I'm getting worse, I am going to have to close on Monday. I don't want to do that, because like I said, I'm trying to raise the standard, you know. But if I'm sick... I'm sick. <laughs> you know, if I can't function, I can't function. <laughs> um, don't bring your sick kids to daycare, you know. Uh, so, <sighs> all right, guys. I'm sorry this is so bleh. I know this video is so bleh. The Saturday chat sucks, bleh. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead. No frills, no thrills, no intro, no outro. I'm just going to upload this as is. No thumbtack, no nothing. I appreciate my subscribers. I welcome my new subscribers. I will get better. The videos will get better again. I'll get week 12 out to you Tuesday. Remember, at the end of all this, there's going to be a workbook that you'll be able to get from me. And uh, with all the 40 weeks in it, that you can write down your notes and follow your progress. And you can do it over and over again. You know, you feel like you need to start from number one and start from week one again. Um, only you know where you are in your healing. Alrighty, guys. I am out of here. <laughs> Wish me well, and uh, God bless. Bye.